Big developments in the West Nile virus outbreak tonight. Sugarland says that a mosquito has tested positive in their city, meaning the virus is now present in one of Houston's biggest suburbs. Andy Sirota is joining us live with how Sugarland, Fort Bend, and other places are now on West Nile alert. Andy? Bill, on alert and taking action, the mosquitoes are so bad in places like Sugarland that the city has increased spraying to twice a week. And it's the same story all over, really, from Sugarland to right here in Houston. If you're outdoors even for just a minute, there is no escape. Well, there's stop itching, but there's some on my legs and right here. As a seven year old who likes to spend time outdoors, Abby DeGregory knows firsthand just how miserable the mosquitoes have been lately. It seems they're awful no matter where you go. They're so bad in Fort Bend County, where three West Nile cases have been confirmed. The school district is now allowing its elementary schools to curtail outdoor activity and giving schools the option to hold gym class indoors. The athletic director is also encouraging coaches to end athletic practices by 6.30 p.m. so that students aren't outdoors at dusk when mosquitoes are most active. They're biting through clothes now, too. Stacy DeGregory, Abby's mom, is a substitute nurse at a couple of private schools in Houston. We had a lot of kids come in on Monday, and the moms are bringing in cortisone cream to leave for their kids to put on their bites. And they're coming in at a carpool line with like five and six bites on their legs, like at the beginning of the day. State and local health officials recommend practicing the four Ds use insect repellent with DEET, dress in long sleeves, stay indoors at dusk and dawn when mosquitoes are most active, and drain stay Standing water where mosquitoes breed. Fort Bend ISD says it will continue to work with the health department. Similar story over in HISD. As for whether outdoor activities are held indoors or outdoors, HISD says that too is largely left to the discretion of the principal at the individual school. We're live in West University Place tonight. Andy Sirota, KPRC, Local 2.